from a major trade center in Asia. It, it could be Hong Kong, it could be Singapore, it could be Shanghai. It really doesn't matter where the location is. The point is that, let me try to come to this from another context. India has, at this point in time, three major exchanges dealing in commodities. One of these exchanges have established the first multi-commodity forward trading exchange in Singapore. Singapore didn't have this tradition. What I'm trying to say is that as a geographical entity, Southeast Asia and Northeast Asia have increasingly become major holders of derivatives and commodities and also major players in commodity trade. And to a very large extent, the precious metal trade apart, major metal trade, trade in mineral metals like aluminium, zinc, copper, and a large amount of that actually takes place within the regional value chains in Asia. Now, if that is the case, then there is probably a strong uh, you know, uh, rationale in trying to set up a center or an exchange working out of Asia where traders will be able to hedge their risks, take part in the price mechanism, and determine the prices. Now, what that means for global aluminium price determination, I think it simply gives another option. I mean, much as uh, we are familiar with different varieties of crude oil, and we are uh, accustomed to the London Brent along with the Dubai crude, and we are habituated to taking their prices on par, I think you'll probably see a London metal aluminium being quoted parallelly to the Hong Kong metal exchange. In a sense, I think better because more information, more choices. Thank you. Thanks.